gets back to a situation that was created in April when we saw that big Delta outbreak in India. PNG put a ban on travellers who'd been in India 21 days before from coming to PNG and that ban has largely remained in place. Uh, so because of that, India has been trying to work with PNG on repatriation flights. PNG says it had rejected uh, four uh, and then under strict conditions accepted one that arrived recently. Now PNG's national COVID control centre says they approved 42 passengers but they say that 107 ended up arriving. They say some of them hadn't had the didn't have the negative test results that are required and that four of them have since tested positive. So the National Control Centre has put out a very strongly worded statement uh, accusing the High Commission of India and two airlines of, uh, of deception uh, and saying that it was a show of disrespect against PNG. Has there been any response from the High Commission? We haven't heard anything from the High Commission yet, Bev, uh, and as I say, obviously this was quite a, a strongly worded letter. They're saying that, uh, that the High Commission was involved in bringing in these unauthorised passengers. They also have said that there'll be no more repatriation flights and that uh, Capajet uh, and Garuda Indonesia, the two airlines, will be prevented from entering PNG air, um, airspace. So, you know, that quite some, some strong terms uh, and strong punishments from PNG so I expect we will see more as to whether there has been some sort of general confusion or misunderstanding if we're going to hear that from the other parties involved uh, or, or if you know we will see any response to these claims that it was a deliberate deception. Yeah of course it's understandable because PNG has been battling Delta for a while. Are official numbers reflecting what's happening on the ground? No, they're not, Bev. Um, testing rates for COVID-19 have been an issue in PNG since the pandemic began. And unfortunately, we have seen test rates fall uh, more in recent months. So this is a real concern for people involved in the COVID response here. They're trying to encourage more people to get tested. So far, we have just 12 confirmed Delta cases uh, in the country, uh, some that were introduced, some that were local. Uh, however, it's widely thought that there are more than that because some of these are local cases and it's not clear where the person contracted the Delta variant from. So that lends people to believe that there is more of this circulating in the community. There are two areas of concern. The town of Medang, where we've seen a nurse test positive and up in the western region around uh, Kyunga, there's been three positive Delta cases there associated with the local mining site up there. And I understand there has been some pressure being felt on health services in Kyunga. Uh, th there was a lot of vaccination hesitancy. Uh, has the campaign to try and encourage people to come and get a jab gathered momentum? There hasn't been a, a huge upsurge in vaccination rates, unfortunately. Uh, I think we're around the 100,000 mark now of people who've had a vaccine, around 25,000 who've had two doses if they're someone who's had the AstraZeneca. Uh, so, uh, look, there hasn't been a big surge, but I think there is seeing some incremental progress in having more pop-up clinics of trying to take this out to people and make it easier to access. Uh, but because we have come off the back of that big surge, people may remember we had uh, a big worrying surge in cases from March to, to May. Coming off the back of that, I think it's fair to say some people have become perhaps blasé about coronavirus, despite the warnings that there could be a third wave. Uh, so there is still a bit of apathy that, uh, that authorities are coming up against. We are about to see the introduction of Johnson & Johnson, a new vaccine for PNG. That's a single dose vaccine. I understand that's going to be used to mainly target initially communities along the border with Indonesia, because obviously we're seeing Delta outbreaks in the West Papuan region. So there are concerns about that coming across the border. Good to talk, uh, Nat. Thanks so much for your time.